to the A final now. A finalists in lane one is Carly Sebring from Nations Capital. In lane two is Jordan DeRocher from Nations Capital. Three, Mackenzie McConaughey, who we've already seen tonight. Uh, she was second, I believe, to Grace Shevley in the 200 back. And there is Grace Shevley in lane four, going for her fifth win of the weekend. And uh, we have the top times in 13-14 U.S. history, just in case, pulled up. Megan Lynch could give her a run for her money, though. Lynch has been the other top 13-14 girl this weekend. Grace's twin sister, Caroline Shebley, is in six. In lane seven, Ashley Colasar from Suburban Seahawks. And in lane eight, Zoe Dixon from Nova of Virginia. Yeah, I think it'll just depend on how much Shebley held back this morning. Uh, 2.02.3. Probably a pretty laid back time considering she went a 409 the other night. So Yeah, you, you would think if you can go 409, you can go a little faster yeah. than 202. I, yeah, I mean, depending on how she swims the 200 IM, again, like we just said, it's hard to be really great at this this race. So we'll <laughs> see how she can piece it together here. It does move her into the all time top 100 in the US uh, for 13, 14 girls, but not going to quite, not going to crack nearly the level she did in the 200 IM when she almost broke Katie Hoff's national age group record. Right. McConaughey going with them on the first 50 with Lynch and with Shebley. At the turn, it's going to be McConaughey and 27, 26 79, followed by Shebley and then Lynch. And as we get to the backstroke leg, which I, I think is actually almost as important as the breaststroke because it, you have that tendency to kind of relax after your butterfly. It's a little easier of a stroke, but you still have to push it. Yeah, especially short courts, it's all about getting into and out of your walls, getting your tempo up. Um, you really want to make sure your tempo stays up. Get up, you get up and get rolling, you know, immediately after butterfly, and, and it can be kind of hard switching between, like I said, long axis and short axis. Nice turn there for Shebley, 57.92. Got about a second faster than she was this morning, so a shot at breaking two minutes here. It'll depend on how fast her breaststroke leg is. Here comes Lynch. Lynch, the winner of the tuner breast. Yeah, she's really coming up on her counterpart there, Shebley. There's stroke for stroke here as we head into the last turn. Looks like Shebley's still just a little bit in front. McConaughey's third. Shebley at 132.66, 132.96 for Megan Lynch. Shebley actually had a faster breaststroke split uh, than Lynch there. She was 34.7 to Lynch's 34.9. Lynch. Lynch is not a big girl, but she's coming. She has Swimming some pop to her girl. stroke, yeah. She swims a lot taller than she actually is. She does, She looks young when you see her on deck. And these two going head to head. Looks like Shebley just ahead here as they come under the flags. Can they get under two minutes? Looks like they won't. 2.00.53 for Grace Shebley. Lynch at 2.01.07. Where's that going to put her, David? In so that 2.00.53. Makes her the 26th fastest all time in the age group, just ahead of Cassidy Bayer, who we're going to see in a, in a few heats as well. So a nice swim there for Grace Shebley. None other.